Hello, fellow wood chopperoos. The big chopperoo and safety Dan here. Hey. And today's episode, we're going to show you how to make this little shaker box. Now, this box construction has rabbits for the side, it has a groove for the lid, and the lid itself, well, it looks like a raised panel. Best of all, we're going to show you how to make this using just hand tools. The Shakers were a religious group that lived in the 18th century. They lived in a small community where they were known for their simple living, architecture, and furniture. The Shakers believed that to make furniture it had to be well constructed but not too ornate. So without further ado, let's start making the box. First, Chad makes a quarter inch groove on the top and the bottom of the board so that it will hold the lid and the bottom pieces. A Stanley 148 is an excellent tool to do this. Next, the board is cut to size with a miter saw, making the front, back, and two sides. To allow the lid to slide into place, one of the grooves is removed from the front. The marking gauge is set and the groove is cut off. It's cut a little proud on the line and then cleaned up with a block plane. The front and back will take a rabbit. This gives it better strength than just a butt joint by itself. A marking gauge is used to do this but you can use the actual pieces for the sides to make the lines. To form the rabbit, begin by making the shoulder cut. Using a square and a knife, score the line and then remove some wood forming a trench. This acts as a guide for the saw as it is cut. Next is a cheek cut. A saw could be used here, but instead the waist is chiseled away slowly, sneaking up on the line. Then level it out and plane it right to the line with the shoulder plane. Repeat it for the other three. The front needs to sit flush with the sides. So using a marking gauge, measure the rabbit and then mark that on the sides. The amount to be removed stops at the groove. Using the same method as before, cut this waist out.
glue one side together. Using a folding ruler with a sliding arm, measure the size for the bottom. The bottom will be some quarter inch plywood. Now with the box drying in the clamps, we will move on to the lid. We want to form a raised panel on this lid. So begin by marking one and a half inches on the face all the way around. Using a chip carving knife or equivalent, form a trench for the rabbit plane later. Reset the marking gauge for a quarter inch and mark the sides as well as the face of the board. Once again, use a knife to form a trench. The shoulder plane can now be used. It is angled so it rides in the trench. Then with a few passes, level the plane off and work down to the line. This will form the tongue that will go into the groove on the box. Begin with the end grain first, then do the same for the edge grain. You'll note the tongue was not formed on the end grain. This is because this will be on the outside edge of the lid, and there will be no groove that will be in need of a tongue. We can now move on to making the raised panel. Once again, start with the end grain. Planing end grain can be very difficult. So, here most of the waste is removed using a chisel. Now, shoulder and rabbit planes can be used to clean up those marks. Working with the grain makes planing the sides a lot easier. So there is no need to use a chisel this time. Take your time working the hand planes and focus on keeping the edges crisp and clean. Now note that the goal on a raised panel is to have intersecting planes to form a straight 45 degree line. 
you can see by shading the edge here with a pencil that the left side has a slight curve. A few light passes with the hand plane brings it right back in line. At this point, the lid is almost done, but it still needs a small notch on the top forefinger, so we hit it with a gouge. The lid is test fit to the box, plain and sanded to allow for smooth operation. Well, there you go. You too can make this little shaker candle box for your home or for a loved one. Hey, did you know that the real name of the shakers was the United Society of Believers in Christ's Second Appearing? Outsiders called them shakers because they liked to dance. You know what? I think I did read that somewhere. How'd you get so smart? Hey man, I'm not just another pretty face. Well, I hope you liked today's show. We'll see you next time. Hey, yo, aren't you going to dance? Ah, uh, no, I'm starting to kind of think that's a little bit childish. Come on, man. People love it, kids love it, and the chicks love it. Oh, well, uh, well, if you put it that way. Taryn, this one's for you. Oh, yeah.